everyone and welcome back to my channel so i know it has been like a really long time since i've talked to you guys um and we're gonna talk about that in today's video why it's been so long so i have a new dorm room set up uh this is not the permanent setup i'm just trying to figure out what i'm gonna do now um until i kind of get fully settled i still have like suitcases and boxes to unpack so for now this is what we're working with but i wanted to come and talk to you guys um yeah so i'm just gonna do some makeup and chit chat with you i was in the mood to do like a really fun tutorial today so that's what we're gonna do so first things first i did take a bit of a unplanned break um mainly because I had a slight mental breakdown um, about YouTube in particular. Um, I, I don't know, this is gonna be weird. I'm gonna like pause a lot in this video, so bear with me. I had like a slight breakdown because I got really wrapped up in the numbers of everything. Like I was putting out content that I thought would get me a lot of views and when it didn't I would get really angry or kind of like just down on myself thinking I wasn't you know doing what I was supposed to um when I really just wanted to make things that make me happy and I kind of realized like the only time that I was happy thinking about YouTube is when I was planning Halloween stuff and in that i kind of realized like i want to take my channel in a different direction like i don't want to do these neutral looks all the time because that's not who i am and that's not what i wear um i'm gonna start doing makeup so this isn't like a thousand years long um i'm gonna do like a colorful eyebrow today i'm gonna do a purple eyebrow so i'm taking the maybelline color tattoo in it's the purple one it's painted purple and I'm just going to use a little flat brush like this one um but yeah I was like super unhappy with what I was doing and I wanted to just I don't know like do better <laughs> and have like good content and it's not like I'm getting hate or anything for it um I just I want to make things that make me happy and I think you guys can probably tell and that's probably why you know I've lost quite a few subscribers in the last couple weeks and um I mean part of that I also attribute to like people who come on my comments and say like hey like subscribe for a subscribe and then they do and then I actually stick to watching their channel but they don't stay and watch mine like they subscribe for a little bit and then they unsubscribe and that's the thing like if you have your subscriptions public people can see who you are and are not subscribed to and a lot of people don't realize that that's just like the default that your subscriptions are public so that was something that was bothering me is like i'm trying to support these people and i don't like to do the like spammy comments I guess you could call them um because I don't like like I rather gain them organically and I know that's kind of hard on YouTube but I rather just put out some like killer content that I thoroughly enjoy that maybe other people enjoy um and that's what I'm gonna focus on now like I don't I'm not gonna worry about like I need the newest and greatest makeup to do a tutorial with because that's what's trending right now like I just want to do makeup that I like so if that's in the middle of April I decide I want to do like a cool body paint or face paint that's that's what I'm gonna do so there is that um now my bras are done they're not as purple as I would like them so I think I'm gonna go over them with a different shadow but for now, this at least gives me a base. Um, 
but yeah and then the other big thing like why I took a break is because my mental health was not up to par I'm gonna use this instant uh, lift primer I was just feeling like very anxious and very kind of down on myself with everything in general um, and YouTube was just kind of fueling that and it was like I don't know, it all kind of chalked up to like where I want to be as a YouTuber and what I want to do. Also, I'm getting demonetized on the 20th of February, just like a lot of small YouTubers. I'm just color correcting here. Um, because YouTube is changing their monetization rules and I think that is crap. It's like you can't be a verified partner anymore if you don't have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in like 30 days I think is the time frame um which I think is crap because a lot of the uh, small youtubers depend on that little check mark and verification for people to want to work with us like you have to be a verified YouTube partner to use a lot of these services that provide sponsorship that YouTube doesn't even pay for. Like this other company is gonna pay for it. But now we're all getting hosed. So that's always super fun and awesome when they do these things. Um, I mean, I understand like from a business standpoint, like they can't be paying all these people who have like one video that's just super popular but then they should have made that the whole thing from the get-go because there's a lot of services that you can't use until you have a thousand subscribers so why wouldn't you do that from the beginning YouTube I'm calling you out I mean I also took a break because my skin is horrendous right now uh, mainly because I had some facials done and like all the stuff is still coming out of my skin so I've been avoiding makeup for about three weeks now um, but I was going like stir crazy not doing it so here we are I got these new beauty blenders and they're really nice they're not actual beauty blenders um, they're like little like knockoffs but they work actually really well my main thing and I guess this is just kind of like my channel update notification to you guys like I mean, I don't think anyone who's subscribed to me really comes here for the natural makeup looks. <laughs> like, I just feel like I'm not being 100% genuine. Like, I'm somewhat being myself, but I'm not being myself. And I think a lot of that stems from, like, having been, like, so picked on so much in my life that I feel like I have to be this other persona to get people to like watch me and that's not okay with me anymore like I just want to live unapologetically at this point like I'm 20 years old um, and I'm living like in the place I've always wanted to live in so there's really no sense in me pretending to be someone I'm not and I'm not saying like I've lied to you guys and everything but it's just like I am a loud obnoxious person and I am not loud and obnoxious on camera like I am wearing a crop top by the way so if you see my belly poke out get over it um like I don't know I'm just always worried about like like probably six months ago I wouldn't have worn this shirt on camera like this because I would be worried about like people making comments like sexually harassing me basically in the comments and like, I think a lot of that comes from, like, being picked on in school for having, like, a bigger chest. Um, but honestly, I'm working on my body so hard and I don't really care anymore what people have to say about it because I understand that I'm a work in progress and there's only so much I can do. Um... And you know what, if people make comments that make me uncomfortable, then I can always just remove them. And I'm going to go over the brows again with... Oh, by the way, I used the Fit Me Matte and Poreless, but I think you guys understand that that's my go-to foundation now. I'm trying to, like, empty out a ton of my products. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm going to take Lace from ColourPop. It's this, like, sparkly purple. And the same brush I used before, and I'm going to go back through my 
eyebrows and do it like add a little bit of dimension and like it's sparkly but I think it'll be cool yeah and it covers up the brows like the natural hair is a little bit more I'm also going to be doing a hundred days of makeup again on Instagram it's just gonna be on Instagram with like with the photos but um like a few videos here and there on looks that I like really like because I'm going to be doing themes I think that's the problem with last year is I is this brow like way higher than the other like what is going on ah. um I did again looks that I thought other people would like and I wasn't understanding like why is this not giving me the game that I want like this has worked for everyone else and it's because everyone else was putting out content that they enjoy making and I was not <laughs> you know like I found some new techniques and stuff that I really enjoy I'm gonna like, kick my feet out <laughs> maybe I'm gonna pull my hair back for the rest of this just so that's out of the way Um, so I'm gonna start on the eyes here. I'm gonna use the NYX base. But yeah, they were making content that they enjoy and creative content. And when I tried to do that, I don't know, I feel like I just got too hung up on the, well, like, people don't get it. And that's actually when I received, like, a hate message during that whole thing. And that, like, like, three years ago, if I would have gotten that, I would have just, like, broke down and shut all my social media off and said, screw it, I'm done, I'm never doing this again. But, I mean, it was like, kind of like, broke the ice, which sounds weird, um, but I mean, I guess you get your first one out of the way and then the rest or whatever. So I'm going to try and show you guys, but the sun is going to kind of block it. I'm using the chocolate gold palette because I bought this for myself for Christmas, and I wanted to try it out. So I'm going to start with So Bougie, which is right here, and this is just going to be my transition color on a Delium 776 brush. But yeah, like I, I don't really care what happens, like I just want to share what I find to be creative and amazing, and I kind of changed like who I'm subscribed to on YouTube. I didn't really unsubscribe to anybody, but um, I did subscribe to Jordan Hans and um, a few other people who do just, like, body painting and super creative makeup, like, uh, Color Creep or Kimberly Margarita on Instagram, because I've been looking at her stuff forever, and I think she's just so talented, so I just want to be like that, you know, and it's not for views, it's because I really enjoy makeup that is more high fashion and like creative and really more art than like enhancing your natural features and I think that's part of it too when it comes to like doing beauty on YouTube is the more you look not like yourself when you're done the more views you get like Nikki Tutorials never look like looks like a whole different person when she's done that's awesome that she has those skills but that's not what I do Try to decide what color I want to go with. I think I'm going to go with New Money, which is that, I don't know if you can see, it's that fuchsia color on this Real Techniques brush. These are all super glittery, so we'll see what the fallout's like. I haven't watched any reviews on this palette, actually. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah, like, she looks totally different, and I think that's part of it, too, with the body painters who are popular. It's like, oh my god, look how, like, they don't look like themselves at all, obviously. But I feel like more people gravitate toward that content during Halloween. But there's also, I feel like I can't be the only person in the world who wants to watch that stuff year-round. I'm not saying I'm going to body paint 165 days out of the year. But definitely want to kind of work on my skills and learn new techniques for prosthetics but also do fun makeup that makes me happy. I feel like this is not dramatic enough. So I'm gonna go in using that Del Young Tools brush. Ooh, I'm blinding myself with Live and Lavish, which is another purpley color. Um, I also started a Twitter for my channel where I will be sharing like 
throwback photos and I'm just going into the outer V. I haven't concealed yet so I can clean all this up. Yeah, I started a Twitter so I can like share my photos and maybe garner some people off of there. But yeah, I just kind of want to expand the channel, expand my brand. Um, but other than that, I will leave the Twitter and everything down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, I also will be putting on there like when I'm filming and stuff. I'm trying to get better at that on Instagram too. This got like really draggy really fast and I'm living for it. Speaking of drag, I am super excited for Thursday um, because it is the season premiere of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 3. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and blend this out. Um, I'm already obsessed with Aja. I mean, I was, I wasn't like a super big fan of Aja from the beginning, um, but after I met her at DragCon, I was like, yeah, she is exactly how she is on camera. Actually, I think she is like, she's like way nicer in person than she is on camera. Yeah, I love Aja. Obviously, I love Trixie. I did make a video about who I thought was going to be on All Stars 3, and I was like way off <laughs> actually I don't think I was that far off because I said Morgan McMichaels and she was on or she's on and I said Trixie but I think we all knew that Trixie was going to be on there but I really thought Laganja and Gia would be on there but um I didn't know at the time of making that video that Gia was transitioning um well she still is transitioning I believe and so obviously that takes like a big toll on your body when you're transitioning and doing all these things also she's like performing with kimura black and stuff so i don't think that she'll ever do drag race again uh laganja i'm surprised didn't um but shangela i said wouldn't do it and she's on and trying to think of who else is on more of my goals kennedy davenport i was like not excited i'm not like a big kennedy fan um i was right about milk but i think we all knew that was coming too i'm gonna have to exfoliate my lips i'm gonna put my concealer on now it's the physician's formula yeah i'm not like super excited about kennedy but i am excited that chi chi's on because i did really like chi chi in her season uh, Thorgy is on, which is cool. Um, I did like Thorgy. Who do you think the 10th queen will be? Someone said that's Bibi Zahara Benet. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised, I guess I'd say, because, um, they are seeming to bring back the people from, like, seasons one and two who didn't get like the exposure that these other girls are getting now because it drag race wasn't like as big as it is now i'm gonna set this all with the fit me foundation like the powder foundation uh, and a powder brush that competition comment down below if you love drag race and who you think would win also someone like left me like nasty comments like saying that we weren't gonna get all stars three before season 10 so i like shouldn't have been making that video and guess what we're getting all stars three before season 10. Ha! all right in the lower lash line i'm gonna take this pencil from lord and barry and it's a strobing pencil i'm just gonna put it in my waterline i just want it to give me some highlight underneath nothing too it's not like a super bright highlight but it is gonna make our eyes look bigger okay I'm really living for these purple brows like they're kind of like a purpley blue contour now and I am using these bronzing pearls from physicians formula mm. they're really hard to get open which is probably good because they would spill everywhere and make a big huge mess but they're like really packed in here. They have like a powder puff and a brush over top. And I'm going to use my new contouring brush. This is from e.l.f. I'll show you guys. It looks like this. And we're going to dip in here. 
I'm just going in the hairline, just to kind of balance everything out. Since this does have a bit of shimmer in it, it's not like the greatest contour, but it's definitely decent. And I'm just gonna go down. my nose okay that looks super good I love it okay I need to grab a blush because I didn't do that but I'm gonna do my highlight first because I learned a new technique from I have no idea who it was honestly but it was on my Instagram and it said like you should highlight first and then do your blush like contour then highlight then blush and it just makes everything like blend together really well ice cold from jeffree star because i am now on the jeffree star wagon plus i think this just like white highlight all of this like draggy makeup is gonna be beautiful i also didn't put my eye eyelashes um, all of my eyelashes are actually being shipped to me from home, so they'll be here like today or tomorrow. Um, so I'm just gonna use mascara today, but it's gonna be colored mascara, so it's gonna be cool. And I am like going crazy with highlight because I want to look like a glazed donut. Some people like hate this look, and I'm like, how? Like, look at me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put my mascara on, and then I'm gonna grab a blush. So I am using the Great Lash Pop of Purple Mascara. I'm gonna take Bella Bomba because I think it blends nicely with like any contour and highlight you have. Okay, we're just gonna go in with a black liner because I think that's gonna be the only thing. Lip time. I am going to be taking a diamond from the Jeffree Star Star Family Collection. And it's like a lavender purple. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take some clear gloss on a brush and put this on over top so usually this would be a matte but I want it to be glossy anyway thank you guys so much for sitting and listening to me talk today I do feel a whole lot better than I did before so I am going to be back with new videos for you guys and exciting content in the new year and I will see you guys next time bye